Hi, sweethearts. We are going to be reading some super, super fun books this week, and they are all really special to me. I decided that this week I would read you some of my most favorite stories from when I was your age. Books that I remember my mom and dad reading to me before I used to go to bed or, or that we would read together as a family with my with my two brothers. Um, so we're starting out with a silly rhyming story called Stand Back, Said the Elephant, I'm Going to Sneeze. And you can tell it's an old book. There's marker on it. There's probably food all over the back because we used to read this all the time. It's written by Patricia Thomas and it's illustrated by Wallace Tripp. I think it's really fun. I hope you love it. There's lots of rhyming words. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. I love the drawings. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. I hate to alarm you, but I don't wish to harm you. My friends, I fear it's clear. Oh dear, you'd better stand back. I'm going to sneeze. Oh no, oh no, cried the buffalo. You're so big and strong and your trunk is so long. Your sneezes send everyone flying along, bumping and thumping down pathway and trail, bouncing and jouncing head over tail, tumbling and bumbling. Your sneeze is a gale or a hurricane. I hate to complain, but please don't sneeze. And a gale is really strong wind. So when he says your sneeze is a gale, it's very powerful. No, no, please don't sneeze, cried the monkeys in the trees. You make such a breeze when you sneeze. The last time you blew us right out of the trees, the branches began to bend and to sway, and some of us landed so far away. We didn't get back until the very next day. The leaves all went whirling and tumbling and swirling, and the flowers shook for hours the last time you sneezed. Even a cough would knock some of us off. Oh, please. Please, don't sneeze. The poor elephant <laughs> and all the other animals. With a shriek, the parrot opened his beak. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, elephant, please, cried the birds in the trees. The last time you sneezed, we lost every feather. We didn't know whether we'd ever get back together. Every parakeet was bare as a sheet, from its head to its feet. What's more, all the whales had peacock tails, and the wings of the cockatoo were stuck on the kangaroo. You must confess, it was quite a mess very confusing and not too amusing even a snuffle makes our feathers ruffle oh please don't sneeze <laughs> fly fly called the birds to the bees the elephant says he's going to sneeze Oh no, buzzed the bees, not a sneeze, not a sneeze. The last time he blew off all of our stings and our wings, and we had to make do with rose thorns and glue. Get it? Rose thorns for the stingers. Furthermore, what a shock. We all had to walk on our knees, if you please. And that's hard on a bee's knees, while our wings grew back in. What a sin. Oh, please, don't sneeze. Beware, beware, called the bees to the bear. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, please, not a sneeze, said the bear. That's not fair. I declare, the last time he sneezed, he blew off all my hair and left me so bare, I spent the whole win winter in long underwear. Nothing so sad as a bear that is bare. The poor giraffe, don't laugh, almost bent in half, and the alligator's snout was turned inside out. The last time he sneezed, a sniff or a snuff is bad enough. But a sneeze? Oh, please, don't sneeze! It's 
interesting that all of these animals live so close together. Bears and giraffes? I don't suppose you could hold your nose or wait a while, asked the crocodile with a sad little smile. Oh my, do try, said the fly. We wish, said the fish, that you would if you could. The last time you blew off all of our scales, from our head to our tails, and our gills got the chills. Our skin is so thin, if you do it again, we'll freeze. Oh, please! The zebra yelled, yipes, you'll blow off my stripes, plus lots and lots of the leopard spots, and all of the snakes will be tied up in knots. The hippopotamus said, a lot of us will fall right on our bottom us if you sneeze, so please don't sneeze. Don't want them falling on their bottom us. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friends, said the elephant sadly. About all of this, I do feel badly. If I could keep from sneezing, I would do it gladly. But I have such a twitch in my trunk and an itch, plus a bit of a tickle and even a prickle. You must run, fly, and hop. I'm afraid I can't stop. I would if I could, but there's nothing to do. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I love this book. 30 years later, I still love this book. Ah, ah, boo, shouted a little gray mouse jumping out of his house. He stood right up on his tippy toes, stuck out his tongue, and wiggled his nose. Eek, shrieked the elephant, jumping up in the air. That's a mouse, that's a mouse standing there. I must hide in a tree before he gets me, or jump in a lake. For goodness sake, don't scare me, please spare me didn't sneeze. The mouse laughed. Oh, Pooh, now what could I do? A little thing like me to a big thing like you. I only wanted to give you a scare, and it worked as sure as you're standing there. Elephant, think about it, please. You completely forgot to sneeze. Well, what do you know, laughed the elephant. That's so, it's astounding, confounding, as I live and breathe. I don't think I really have to sneeze. He began to giggle. He 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 he, that's the funniest thing that has happened to me. Ha ha ha, ho ho ho. The elephant shook from his head to his toe. He ho hoed and ha ha he giggled and guffawed. He chortled and chuckled until his knees buckled. He sat down and rolled from side to side. In fact, the elephant laughed till he cried. He laughed till the ground was shivering and shaking, and all of the trees were quivering and quaking. The monkeys came tumbling out of the trees, and the stings fell off of every one of the bees. The bird's feathers went flying to goodness knows where. The poor guy can't sneeze, and he can't laugh without causing a lot of problems. And all of the hair fell off of the bear. The giraffe bent in half and the alligator snout turned inside out. The fish lost their scales from their heads to their tails. Look at that alligator. <laughs> Poor thing. The zebra yelled, yipes, there go my stripes. Well, the hippo went thump right on his plump. You know what is plump rump. <laughs> and into a puddle, the mouse went kerplop. Then he sat up and shouted, This simply must stop! We're terribly glad that you don't have to sneeze. But if you must laugh, laugh softly. Oh, elephant, please. And that is the end of stand back said the elephant i'm going to sneeze
I hope you loved it. I am so happy that I got to share such a special book with such special people. I love you and I will be back with another book tomorrow.